for startups. Time and efficiency are of the essence, and nothing slows down an operation more than missing knowledge. Without it, you run the risk of running incorrect processes, duplicating work, and wasting time. Documenting processes, new initiatives, and official information can empower employees to do their best work. This video will show you how to structure your team documentation with Notion and have this information easily accessible to all. We'll cover creating company-wide databases for docs and meeting notes, as well as linking pages together to create a solid web of information. Along the way, we'll sprinkle in tips and tricks on how to use Notion to plan, write, and focus better. Let's jump right in, shall we? Here's a workspace of a fictional company called Acme Inc. In the words of Mary Kondo, clutter is caused by a failure to return things to where they belong. Similarly, every document you create must belong somewhere. In a Notion workspace, the sidebar is home to what we call top-level pages, which in turn are home to sub-pages. It's possible to store pages inside pages inside pages infinitely and trace back the structure by viewing the breadcrumb navigation at the top of every Notion page. Whether you're a team of 20 or 200, we recommend you centralize your team docs in one database. This creates consistency within your team, all the while ensuring that information is transparent and accessible, from the IT manager to the support advocate. The same applies for meeting notes. Instead of siloing them inside team pages, why not include them in the same database so you can sort and filter information with ease? Plus, this keeps meetings transparent and helps cross-functional collaboration when teams can learn from what others are working on. To avoid confusion, we recommend you limit your number of top-level pages to a handful. For example, you could create a home page for every department. There, team members could store specific information about their team, such as tools or processes. In this marketing homepage, there are pages dedicated to each branch of the marketing team, brand and style guides, onboarding documents, and editorial content. You can also embed information coming from a multitude of apps to centralize all information or tools your team might need. For example, if there's a process your team needs to run, you can embed a video showcasing the steps. Or include a Figma file by simply copy and pasting the share link and selecting Embed Figma. To watch more about Notion embeds, go here. Chiefly, documentation in Notion isn't static. Rather, it comes to life when you bring in data from other apps or simply from more complex content blocks such as code snippets or equations. Finally, this page at the top serves as the company homepage. This is for information that concerns all team members, the company's mission, vision, and values, or other foundational documents such as general onboarding and company goals. This team directory is a table database where every employee can add information about them and what they do at the company. Now let's have a closer look at this docs page. This database should be used for anything that is worth sharing with the entire team, from process changes to company-wide announcements or strategy proposals. Since this is a shared database for your entire company, it's helpful to have a standard process for adding, categorizing, and working through all these updates. This is a great place for requests for comment documents, or RFCs, which is to say, when someone is building something new, they can write up a brief about it and share it with everyone. The brief becomes a place to collaborate, share ideas, and provide feedback. Now let's scroll up this page to have a look at the Properties section. Properties are pieces of information about each entry in a database. They can come in many forms, such as regular text, tags, dates, and people. In this case, the team decided to record the type of every doc, the last time it was updated by a team member, a short summary of the doc, relevant tags, the priority level, the person the document is assigned to, and finally, the date the document was added to the database. All of these pieces of information help create consistency between different company docs, but can also help you visualize and organize your data in different ways. This database boasts four additional views, each showcasing information for specific purposes. Here, docs are displayed in a list and are sorted according to priority. This other view only shows open requests for comment documents. With multiple views to choose from and the possibility to filter and sort your data, how you choose to display your information is completely up to you. Equally, this meeting notes database is where you can go to add notes about the meeting you just had 
or simply get insight into another team's work. Every meeting that is held in the company can be found here. Use the search function to find a specific one. Remember to scroll up any database entry to access the Properties section. There, you can add or delete the properties you want. You can automatically add the date and time the page was created, use a People property to show who attended the meeting, or add the Select property to specify the team. This Created by property captures the name of the person who created the page, while the Last Edited Time property displays exactly what it says. Again, you can add additional database views to your database and use your properties, filters, and sorts to display your data in different ways. For example, this list view only displays weekly syncs, while this board view showcases meetings by team. You can also build templates for your database pages. These are particularly helpful for recurring meetings or to standardize things like process changes or requests. To create a template, click on the arrow next to the blue new button at the top right of your database. Give your template a name and perhaps an icon, and add all the content you would like to replicate. For this stand-up template, we can add sections like these, along with bullet points or to-do lists. Click out of the page to save your template. The next time you wish to jot down notes about a marketing stand-up, you can click directly on the downwards arrow next to New, then on the marketing stand-up template. This will automatically create a new page showcasing the content you added. Now, you can simply give your new meeting a name and fill out your sections here. With one database for docs and one for meeting notes, you can standardize these pages across your entire company. Not only does this foster transparency, it also helps create a scalable process new and old teammates can follow. Now that your company information is neatly stored in its respective databases, how do you make sure people actually use it? Whenever it's convenient, try linking your pages to each other. Instead of simply referencing the name of a doc in a text, just send the reader to the page in question. To give you an idea, this customer experience onboarding page sends the new recruit to important pages to read through. To create a page link, just type the add key followed by the name of the page. Once your page shows up, Click on it, and a dynamic link is created. Instead of having the readers look up the page themselves in the workspace, this link simply takes them there. Note that the link does not change the location of the document in the workspace. CX Career Paths and Growth is still located within the Customer Experience homepage. Links help to make connections between related docs, and every link to a page automatically creates a backlink in the original page. If you click on Backlink below the page name, you'll see links to all the pages where it is being referenced. Clicking on a backlink will take you back to the original place where the link was created. We have a whole video about creating links and backlinks in your workspace, which you can watch here. Another thing you can do is include synced copies of the same database across different pages. To do this, type the fourth slash key, followed by the word linked, and select Create Linked Database. Now, type the name of the database you would like to include in your page. Select it from the dropdown, and now you have a synced copy of the same database. Again, this does not displace your original docs database, but rather allows you to access your data from the comfort of your new page. A linked database is particularly helpful when you apply the views and filters you want to it. Now, suppose you only want to showcase documents related to user feedback. Simply add a filter that says, Type is user feedback. Now your user feedback docs are neatly displayed in your page for the new recruit to consult. What if you have content that is not a database, but that you would also like to sync on multiple pages? You can use our synced blocks feature to do that. Sticking to the onboarding theme, here's a general onboarding database that showcases every step the new team member should follow in their first days at the company. In this first card, you may want to include the company's mission and vision. This text is available in the Mission Vision Values subpage of the company homepage. Select your content and simply copy it to your clipboard. Go back to your card in the onboarding database and paste your content. This window will pop up. Select the Paste and Sync option, and now your content is synced. Whatever changes you make to the company mission and vision will be automatically synced everywhere it's linked. 
This saves you from the hassle of manually finding and updating your content and all the places it's used. As your startup grows and processes become more complex, some of your early documents will inevitably become obsolete. Instead of deleting them, consider creating a history or archive section to commemorate your company's history. Finally, if you're looking for something specific in your workspace, use the quick find to speed up your search. First, you'll see your recently viewed pages and searches listed below, so you can click and jump into one of them right away. You can also type your search term and select your page from the dropdown. And if you're working on a page on a regular basis, you can keep it at the top of your sidebar for as long as you like by clicking on the favorite button. We'll leave you at that. It's now up to your team to implement a solid culture of documentation throughout your startup, one that is fully customized to your ambitions and needs. With everyone from all departments and levels of seniority on the same page, your team can grow better and stronger with Notion, whether you're just starting out or expanding swiftly.